Hi Booktube, Lynette here and today's video I'm going to talk about all the series that I have across my physical shelves and my Kindle. So back in May I joined in with um, a read-along called the Final Book Support Group read-along and I joined the Discord group and I downloaded um, a spreadsheet to uh, update all my series and yeah I, I did okay with the read-along um, I did talk about it in my May wrap-up um, that is uh, run by Steph over at Steph Loves um, I'll leave a link to her channel down below um, and yeah I started to feel inspired to make some progress with some series that I have on my shelves and get myself sorted out with the series on my shelves thinking I don't have that many and then I watched a video by a woman called, uh, she calls herself Chatty. I'm really sorry, Chatty. I don't know what your actual first name is. I haven't found it in any of your videos yet. Um, but her channel is Chatty the Mad Chatter. And again, I will leave her channel linked down below so you can go and check her out. What I've seen so far is brilliant. Um, but yes, she talked about um, some series that she's been prioritising this year and progress that she's made with them. And again, I felt very, very inspired by that. Um, but I found that the spreadsheet for updating my series um, didn't really work for me. So I decided to sit down with a notebook and I decided to make notes on all the series that I have started or have yet to start or have DNF'd. And... Um, yeah, I found some surprising numbers. So I thought that I would then, completely inspired by Chatty, I would make a video talking about those stats and maybe about some of the series that I want to uh, get on with this year. So let's get on and talk to you about the stats. So the most surprising um, to me and... Uh, probably to a lot of people is that somehow or another over the last 12 years I have amassed 508 series across my physical shelves my audiobook shelves and my kindle shelves yes you did hear that right 508 series um I had no idea that it was anywhere near that many um I knew I'd read a few. Um, did I think it was over 500? Absolutely not. Maybe a couple of hundred? Yeah, so that's a little daunting. Um, what I had decided, like I said, um, is that I split the series down into three lists. So series I'd started, series I've yet to start, and series I've DNF'd. So of those 508 series, the good news is that I have decided to DNF um, 183 of them. Uh, a lot of them are because I can't um, remember anything about the previous books, anything at all, or when I was looking at the covers, um, especially with the Kindle ones, they didn't spring any need to continue with me. Um, so yeah, so 183 are on the DNF pile. There are some of those that I might go back to at some point, um, but I really think that I need to get the other 325 under control before I actually start bringing series that I've DNF'd um, effectively back into the score. So I have 219 series that I haven't started yet. That means that I own 219 Yes, 219 series starters. I mean, I rarely look. I've, I've got collections on my Kindle and I have a collection for series yet to start. I hadn't looked at the number in a long, long time. Um, so to know that I've got over 200 that I haven't started yet. Wow, that's that's scary. Um, and there's a lot of books as well. And I'll get on to that in a minute which means I have 106 book series that I started and not finished. Um, 
106. 100, 106 series that I'm in the middle of. What am I doing to myself? How how have I got into it? I, I would love to know if anybody um, is able to interact with past me. Could you do me a favour and find out how that happened? Because 106 in progress. I mean, I thought I was pretty good at starting series and following them through and continuing and finishing them. But clearly I'm not. And one thing I haven't done, one that I don't have is I don't know how many series I finished. I didn't. I didn't look at any of those. I just looked at ones that I actually had on the go um, or not started. Um, so yeah, so wow, 106. Yeah, that's a lot, a lot of, um, a lot of books um, on the go. But yeah, so let's talk about stats within those series. So of the series that I have yet to start, I have worked out based on um, current books that are released. I have worked out that for the series, 219 series that I have not yet started, there are over 1,183 books. That's, wow. Um, so that's about an average of five books per series. Some of them are a lot more than five, some of them are duology, some of them are trilogies, so that evens out. But yes, um, that's that's a lot of books that I haven't yet read and plan to at some point in the future. Uh, I need to stop starting series. I need to stop putting series on my TBR list, I think, because this is getting out of hand. So in series that I've started, there are 742 books across the whole series. So again, that's an average of seven books a series, I think. Yes, seven books a series, roughly. Sadly, I've only read 277 of those 42 books, which means I have 465 books left across all the series that I've started to read. That's like four years of reading for me. I... Again, how do I get myself into these situations? I really need to rein this in and sort this out. Yes, um, slightly better news though. About a fifth, so 22 of the series that I've started, I only have one book left to read in the series. So there are some that if I knuckle down and get to it this year, I could probably knock 22 series off of my TBR. So yeah, so I don't think 22 is that bad. Um, and it would definitely get me under 100 series in progress. So yeah, um, I really need to sort that out. So let's talk about what makes up the, the length of those series. So I have across started and unstarted uh, series, 30 of them are duologies, 93 are trilogies, and 19 have 10 or more books in the series. Four of the series um, only have one book so far released, and that is, of course, started and unstarted. 198 of the series across started and unstarted are four plus, four or more books in the series. And 54 of the series, I've only read one book. I really need to get this sorted out. 29 of the series, though, I have five or more books left to read. Um, yeah, those are some scary stats, aren't they? I really need to sort that out. So what I've decided is I am going to try to catch up with some of these 22 series where I only have one book left. Um, I don't know, Steph... Over at Steph Loves, she periodically runs readathons um, for people to concentrate on the series. Uh, so I don't know at the point that I'm filming this. Oh, sorry, just kicked the camera. Uh, at the point that I'm filming this, I don't know if she has any readathons planned at that point. Uh, but the Discord is always running. So I've decided that I am going to work on getting some of those 22 series up to date. Now, of those 22 series, 
I only have the only own the most recent book or the final book in in 12 of them um or can access 12 of them the other 10 um I don't own or can't have access to or because I'd have to pay for them money is tight um so purchasing books has to be very intentional for me so I'm going to see how I get on and the books I already own or can get through Kindle Unlimited I'm thinking that they are going to be a priority maybe for August um now I've got a couple of the series on here so two of the series the final the next books in the series or the final book in the series is due out later this year I have those on pre-order so those will definitely be finished um so that will only leave me with eight that i have to purchase so let's talk about the 22 series that where i only have one book left the first series and this is going to be an easy finish for me because the next book comes out in august and the final book that is the excess all areas series by scarlet cole this is a romance series following a rock star band from manchester in the uk and I've been thoroughly loving them. So there is absolutely no way I'm not going to knock this series off of the TBR this year. Like I say, the last book comes out in August and I already have it on pre-order. So definitely going to finish that one in, um, in August, September. The second one is another easy finish. And that is the Dragon Realm series by Katie and Kevin Sang. There are four books released in a five book series. I'm not quite sure when book five is due out. I have read three and I own book four so again a definite easy one to knock off the TBR for me um, or bring up to date. The third series is Dragon Fury series by Corrine Callahan. This is a paranormal romance series based around a set of dragon shifters. Again this is another easy one for me to knock off of my TBR because it has a book releasing in July this month um, as this think maybe the week after this goes up so at the point you're watching this I could already be reading it and I could already have brought that one up to date uh Corrine Callahan is one of my auto buy authors so definitely going to have this one owned and read by the end of July and that will be one to knock off the list and bring the series up to date the fourth one is a duology and it's a science fiction duology and it's the children of Ockham by Christian Cantrell now, reading the synopsis of this, this doesn't immediately follow on from the first book, but maybe is set in the same world. So I think maybe a companion novel. Um, but the first one really stuck with me. It's science fiction and it's about a group of humans who are set on um, off worlds, not um, they're on Venus and they're trying to make it habitable. Um, but they are running out of resources and it's about what happens when one of them finds out that they are about to come, become a father and they can't afford to have children on this world. So, yeah, the, the end of that book left me really intrigued. It's one that I quite often thought about finishing, so definitely need to pick that one up. The book, the second book, um, which is, um, which I've forgotten what it's called, Equinox, there it is. Um, that book is available on Kindle Unlimited so yes I think I will definitely get that one knocked off the list at some point as well. And the fifth series is another romance and that is the beauty series by Georgia Cates. Now this is one where I don't really remember much about the books I've already read but I keep seeing the cover come up as I scroll through my Kindle um, and it just makes me want to, to pick it up and finish it. And I just keep thinking I must get on and, and read the next book. Uh, it's a romance where their time is limited together. And um, they are telling themselves not to fall in love with each other. But they do. And yeah, I need to finally finish the series and find out how their happy ever after um, comes to be. Again, it's available on Kindle Unlimited. So there is no reason why I can't lock this one off my TBR very quickly. Series number six is uh, one that I don't own the last book, but I really, really would like to read it. Um, so I might have to uh, find the pennies to invest in it one month. And this series is the Royally series by uh, Emma Chase. 
It's set in the fictional world of Wesco and it's following the royal family and how they find the happy ever afters. The final book in the series is a set of short stories following the different couples and I'm thoroughly looking forward to seeing these slice of life um, pickups and yeah it's one that I should be able to easily knock off of my TBR. Series number seven is Medieval Fantasy Romance and it's The Gifted Ones by Diane Duval. I remember reading the first one uh, which is called, I can't remember what it's called now, It's the name escapes me, um, but it was about um, a witch who isn't who she seems, she stays in disguise. Uh, the second book is about a bounty hunter who is pulled back to the past um, and how she falls in love with one of the kings of this world. Um, and yeah, again, I don't know why I I bought the book at the time that it released, but I just didn't continue with it. Um, so again, it's one that I own. It's one that I should be able to get on with. It's one that occasionally I see the cover and I think I must read it and I, I never get around to it. And yep, definitely need to prioritise it this year. Series number eight is a science fiction romance series set in the fictional world of Tornian um, and it's it's the Tornian series and it's by M.K. Eden. The most recent book has released so it's one that was up to date until June this year uh, when she released a story following on from the original book Grimm um, and I don't own it again money's tight so I haven't invested in it but I really should because I really want to catch up with it and read it it's the only alien romance series I've ever read that has held my attention and kept me reading it. So yeah, I really need to get on with it. And again, um, this one though, it's not a full length novel, but it's um, it does intrigue me and I really do need to get on with it because I just feel like it's a little bit more money than I'm willing to pay for a novella or, or short book. Um, rather than a full novel so yeah it's one that I will get to but it's going to be one where I have a fair amount of excess money left at the end of the budget which it, there really is um yeah and I'll update it then the ninth series on this list is a potential DNF series and that is the Manhole series by Katie Evans it's contemporary very steamy romance um I loved I remember loving the first couple of books which followed um the same two characters as they found their happy ever after and then there's been spin-off books in the manhole series which follows uh friends of the original main couple um I'm only one book behind which is what they are um again it's not a book that I own I kept up to date with the series as they were releasing and then I took my eye off it I didn't realize there was more to come and there has since been another release in the series so I could be forgiven for not keeping on top of this one because I didn't know about this final book um but yes definitely one but I don't own it it's not available on Kindle Unlimited so it's not a priority to purchase series number 10 is the Servants of Fate series by Sarah Fine uh, this is sci-fi paranormal fantasy romance um, it's about a family who help souls cross to either hell or heaven. That is their job. Uh, they get paid for it. And yeah, I've read the first two books and really, really enjoyed them. Book three is available in Kindle Unlimited. And I'd like to know where it goes because this there is an overarching storyline that um, flows through them all. So you follow a different couple in every one but they're all part of a larger story and I'm really really enjoyed that larger story and I want to know more about it because there are gods involved um and I really love uh god, god stories and I really do need to get a move on with them series number 11 is um a trilogy of short stories I've read two in the trilogy they are extremely steamy hot romances so yeah um I'm talking, I'm, I'm, I'm talking definite, definite steam. Uh, these are books to make you blush if you're not used to reading them. Um, and they are The Steamy Coffee Reads by Whitney G. Again, I don't own the third one. It's a short 
story um it's only about 50 pages so the price for it is a little bit steep so again it's one that i could probably knock off but it's not a priority to, for me to buy because of the cost of it the cost is slightly prohibited um but yeah again if i've got a lot of money left over one month then i probably will um i probably will knock it off the the, the series because it'll be a quick read the 12th series is another romance novel it's another rock star romance novel and this book got me out of this series got me out of a reading slump uh, a couple of years ago i started the year um not knowing what i wanted to read and then i saw this um series come up it was recommended to me and it was the bad habit series by jt gessinger and i devoured them i absolutely devoured them I read the three main series, main books in the series, which were about the rock stars, but then there was a fourth one, which is about their bodyguard, which I never got to. And again, it's available in Kindle Unlimited. And I think that's why I read it first time around, because it was a Kindle Unlimited uh, series. And yeah, again, I remember them being quite steamy, quite, yeah, books you want to read on your own or, you know, take inspiration from, um, which I have done in some cases. Um, not going to lie reading romance can be educational um yes um so i have i i really need to get on as soon as i saw there was a fourth book i was like why didn't i read this first time round? so again it's probably going to be one that i prioritize for the future series 13 is the all souls series by deborah harkness now this is one that i'm on the fence about um the fourth book in the series moves on from the original couple, but it follows someone else in their friendship circle and their family. Um, and I just, I struggled with the last book in the trilogy. I struggled with the last series of the TV series. But I really want to know what happens with the couple that are featured in this series. It's paranormal fantasy romance. Um Va there's vampires demons and witches and that's the main focus of them although in times convert we then have a human who comes into the main romance and yeah i i just really don't know with this one um again it's quite an expensive book to buy even if i bought it on kindle um and yeah i'm just i need to i need to make a decision about whether i'm actually going to read it or dnf it i don't know um it's probably one that's going to sit there for a while and again it's probably not going to be a priority cost prohibitive um to reading it so i might i might dnf it i haven't decided series 14 is the sons of broth series by kerry lake kerry writes dark romance this is dark paranormal romance following the um so the demon sons of the god wrath of the demon god wrath um and this is the fourth book and i don't know whether it's the fourth and final or whether it just brings um the series up to date where it is kerry lake has certainly moved on and, and is writing other books other series this isn't a priority for her if it is an ongoing series i don't know until i finish reading this one i think there was definitely more than four brothers I remember enjoying reading them i don't remember them being overly hot but i know there is steamy scenes in them um and i i did enjoy them i'm just i'm not a huge fan of dark romance i don't read a lot of it um but i do remember enjoying these i think maybe because the darkness in these is tempered by the fantasy side of it uh which actually makes them easier to digest um for me uh, dark romance set in the modern world is not something i read a lot of um but yes um i own the book so again it's one that i could prioritize and knock off quite quickly if i decided to series 15 is the this man series by jody ellen malpass now i'm not including the book that she has written from the male's point of view i rarely enjoy those when authors do that when they go back and rewrite the, the book from the opposite character's point of view um it really doesn't work for me so i'm only counting the four books in the main series now this series is contemporary romance it is one of the earliest series i read when i first bought my kindle when i was um finding other books like 50 shades of gray um 
and it's not the best series however i like the premise of this fourth book this fourth book is an in the future it's um not slice of life um but ava and jesse are older uh they've got kids and ava has an accident which causes her to lose her memory and specifically loses all her memory of um her relationship with jesse and he has to win back her love and she has to learn to love him all over again and so i'm i'm kind of intrigued by it i don't own it uh but it could be one that moves to the top of the pile just so i can say that i've knocked it off um and yeah i'm i i really need to i really need to get a grip on this because romance is really easy for me to read i could probably knock out half of these um in the month if I chose to because of how fast I read romance so I don't know why I've sat on these for so long as I have. Series 16 is the Lunar Chronicle series by Marissa Meyer. I absolutely devoured. I read uh, the first book um, which I've forgotten the name of it. I read the first book anyway uh, for a book club group. Um, again it was getting me out of a slump and I went on to read the following three books um, in the series cinder that's the first one so i read cinder scarlet crest and winter i then read the um stars above i think is the one that i have left to read um which is short stories i read fairest um which is the evil origin romance story um and i have the short stories which are slice of life stories again uh to read and i really need to get on with them it's just been sat there lingering but short stories i struggle with when it's a set of short stories i really need to get a grip and start reading more of them because i do enjoy short stories i just they just kind of as i start getting into them they then stop and end um and i do need a bit more than they give me sometimes to keep my interest okay. moving on we have another rockstar romance series and that is the battle scars series by sophie munro Again, this is another old series. It's one of the original Rockstar series that I read. Um, romance series that I read when I was working through my Kindle um, and just got my Kindle. And I don't know why I stopped. And that's what's been bothering me about this series is that I don't know why I stopped reading it because they were all released at the time. Um, and yeah, I need to get on with it and I need to read them more. Um, so again, it's in Kindle Unlimited and i could probably again read it very very quickly um and just have a reminder of of what it was and see if why i stopped reading part way through was it because i wasn't enjoying them was it because the writing was terrible or was i just lazy let's find out series 18 is another one that i don't know why i stopped reading it and that is the filthy beautiful lies series by kendall ryan steamy contemporary romance again i'm not sure now i have added a couple of her series to the dnf pile so i'm not really sure why this one is still on the to read pile i think it's just because something about the covers intrigue me um the fourth book in the series can be read as a standalone it's not the original couple that's possibly why i didn't read it um but yes again it's i own it i have it on my kindle so i could read it very soon um i think i'm gonna have to make one of the months um you know a series catch-up month i really do um so that i can get this some of these sorted uh but yes um again romance is an easy read for me so i don't know why i didn't continue series 19 is the seattle steam series by uh, shelley stevens these are unconnected standalone books set in the series set in seattle um they this one is following childhood friends uh, who are following they're, they've been isolated um and they hold up together and he has to convince her that um she really doesn't want to do something that um she's planning on doing um i loved the first book in this series um it was originally called dangerous grounds and i think it's had a rebrand and a rename and i think it's been slightly rewritten and uh, what I said earlier about romance being educational, um, these books have a lot of heat um, and I did learn a few things from that very first book. And I think that's why Shelley Stevens has a bit of a soft spot for me because um, 
she did hit quite a few of my own personal fantasies and I'm not sure if I should be admitting that on camera um but yes uh yes um very descriptive um steamy scenes and I recommend them if you want a bit of alone time let's put it that way Series 20 is another set of standalone um, unconnected books. They're just set in uh, a similar world. And that is the Unzipped series by Alessandra Torre. And this book is following um, some people who are in the world of fashion. And it's following their romance. Um, again, I don't own it, so I'm not sure about it. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed the first book, it was Love in Lingerie, um, which was an enemies to lovers romance and I thoroughly enjoyed it. I've recently recommended it on um, the Literature Club uh, Discord and someone recently commented on a video I was watching, I was a live I was part of watching, to say that they'd read it on my recommendation and loved it. So, and I think that might have been chatty, I'm not sure. Um, but yes thoroughly enjoyed it um and yeah i'm looking forward to reading the next one when i have some spare pennies to invest in it the next two uh books are binge reads next two series are by the same author they're by suzanne wright and i originally read them in 2016 uh i binge read the whole set of these that were out at that time and i think there was 10 books out at that time they're all in Kindle Unlimited and it's her Mercury pack series and her Phoenix pack series. It's Shifter Paranormal Romance. Uh, the Phoenix and Mercury packs are interconnected. So you do need to read them in release order. And again, they're not, it is romance with some steam in, but there's not a lot in them. Um, and I've got one book in each left. And I think um, I, I might have already read them at the point you see this because they are on my July TBR because I've recently read um, one of the books in the Mercury Pack series uh, and thoroughly enjoyed it, remembered exactly why I love these stories and yeah, I'm definitely going to be reading those in July so I might be two series down at the point that you um, see this video. Those are some series. Now, Chatty asked me if uh, you were going to have the opportunity to vote on um, some books. Um, I'm still considering it, Chatty. I haven't thought about it. Um, I am thinking that maybe my August TBR might involve a vote. Um, but I'll let you know. You'll find out nearer the time. So... This is a very long video. It's 40 minutes long and I have to edit this down. I don't know when I'm going to do that. Uh, yes, that's, um, that's a lot of series. 508 series, 219 um, not started and 106 in progress with almost 2,000 books between in the series between the started and the not started. Yeah. Uh, how do I get myself into this? I know I've asked this two, three times already, but how did I get myself into this situation? I hope you've enjoyed this video, uh, long as it is. Um, let me know what series you have on the go. Please don't recommend them to me. I do not need to add any more to this list. Although I probably will take them as recommendations anyway. If you have enjoyed this video, then please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, then subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you all here. If you didn't know, I make videos and put them up every Monday at 6.30pm UK time. There is the occasional edition thrown in on a Thursday. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Bye.